Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigan. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from system of equations. Here we have to evaluate x plus y plus z expression given that x, y, z belong to positive reals. So let's get started by considering required expression is e. This is first equation, this is second and here we have equation 3. Now I will begin with the given first equation. I can write our first equation x square plus y square then xy term is there. I will write minus 2 times xy and then I need to multiply with minus half so that value will be unchanged xy. Right hand side is 1. We will write 1 square. Now I am thinking about cosine rule. A, B, included angle theta, opposite side is C. We can write A square plus B square minus 2 times AB cos theta equal to C square. So I will compare these two equations and we can conclude two important points. Second is C will be equal to 1 and cos theta is equal to minus half. So let me write here cosine theta is equal to minus half. So I can write theta will be equal to 120 degrees. Now I will draw one triangle. This is A, B, C. Now I will consider one point in the triangle as O. Now this side is AO side is X, BO side is Y, OC is Z. Now you can see our first equation here. X square plus Y square minus 2XY. Then included angle is this angle 120 degrees. Opposite side is side AB whose length is 1 unit. Similarly from our second equation, I will write here y square plus z square minus 2yz minus 1 by 2 equal to 4 is there. So we can write 2 square. So confirmly bc will be equal to 2 units. As we have this side square. If I will compare cos theta is equal to minus 1 by 2, we will be getting theta included angle between y and z. This would come out 120 degrees. So I will write here theta is equal to 120 for triangle BOC. Similarly from third equation, I can write z square plus x square minus 2zx minus 1 by 2 equal to 5 is there. We can write a square root 5 whole square. Now square root 5 is CA. I will write here the third side of our triangle ABC would be square root 5. And included angle between X and Z side we will write 120 degrees. Let me draw triangle first. Here it is. Now we will talk about area. So we know that area of triangle is equal to half AB sin theta. If triangle is like this, sides are AB included angle theta, then this area we can calculate half AB sin theta. So using this formula, I will calculate area of triangle AOB. This will be equal to half sides are X and Y. Included angle is 120, so I need to write sin 120. So this will be equal to half X times Y sin 120 is root 3 over 2 equal to 
root 3 over 4 times xy. This is area of triangle AOB. Now we will calculate area of triangle BOC. So sides are y and z. I will write 1 over 2 y z. Included angle is sine 20. So we can write again sine 120 degrees. This will give us 1 over 2 y z root 3 over 2. Value will be equal to root 3 over 4 times y z. Similarly, area of triangle COA, I can write directly root 3 over 4 z times x. Now I can evaluate the complete area of triangle ABC by adding area of triangle AOB plus BOC plus area of triangle COA. So I can write here overall area of triangle ABC. This is equal to area of triangle AOB plus area of triangle BOC plus area of triangle COA. This will be equal to root 3 over 4 xy plus root 3 over 4 yz plus root 3 over 4 zx. We can take root 3 over 4 common out. So in bracket we need to write xy plus yz plus zx. Now I will write side lengths of triangle ABC. AB was 1, 1 unit, BC was 2 unit and CA was root 5 unit. Now I will check Pythagorean formula. So I need to write here Pythagoras theorem AB square plus BC square is equal to CA square. So AB is 1, we will write 1 square, BC is 2, 2 square, CA is root 5, root 5 square. So 1 plus 4 equal to 5, yes, this is true, means our triangle ABC is right angle triangle. So if this vertex is A, this is B, this is C, this side length is 1, here we will write BC equal to 2, CA is root 5. Now we can calculate the direct area of triangle ABC also, which we will equate with our area of triangle ABC. Let's say this is equation 4. So area of triangle ABC will be half base times height. So half times 2 times 1 value will be equal to 1 square unit. Now I will compare both the areas. So equation 4 with this area of triangle ABC equal to 1. I can write root 3 over 4 times xy plus yz plus zx. This is equal to 1. Now we will multiply both sides by 4 over square root 3. 4 over square root 3. So square root 3, square root 3, 4 and 4, this will get over. We will get one very important result xy plus yz plus zx equal to 4 over square root 3. Let's say this is our equation number 5. Now I will write all the three equations quickly, then we have to add all x square plus y square plus xy equal to 1, y square plus z square plus yz equal to 4, z square plus x square plus zx equal to 5. Now we are going to add these three equations. We will get 2 times in the bracket x square plus y square plus z square plus xy plus yz 
plus zx equal to 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10. Now we will use our result from equation 5 xy plus yz plus zx equal to 4 over root 3. So I can write 2 times x square plus y square plus z square plus 4 over root 3 equal to 10. Now we will take 2 common from LHS. So we will write here x square plus y square plus z square 2 is common. Then we will write here plus sign 2 over root 3. RHS is 10. I will write 2 times 5. Now we can cancel this 2 from LHS 2. We will get x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 over root 3 equal to 5. Now we will subtract 2 over root 3 from both sides. So I will write x square plus y square plus z square this will become 5 minus 2 over square root 3. Now I will use algebraic identity x plus y plus z whole square a plus b plus c whole square formula. So we will write here x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 times in the bracket, we will write xy plus yz plus zx. Now here we will apply equation number 5. Here we will apply equation number 4. 4 and 5 we have already calculated. So I will write here x square plus y square plus z square. This is here. I will write 5 minus 2 over square root 3 plus 2 times xy plus yz plus zx this was 4 over root 3. Now I can multiply 2 with 4 so we can write 5 minus 2 over square root 3 plus 8 over square root 3. Now 8 minus 2 is 6 we will write 5 plus 6 over root 3 in the RHS x plus y plus z whole square will be equal to 5 plus 6 over square root 3. Let's rationalize our denominator. So we will multiply with root 3 root 3 here. I can write 5 plus 6 root 3 over 3. Now 6 over 3 is 2. So 5 plus 2 times square root 3. This is equal to x plus y plus z whole square. Now we will consider square root both sides. We will get x plus y plus z. This will be equal to plus minus square root of 5 plus 2 square root 3. Now x, y, z was positive reals. So this minus sign will be rejected. So we can write our final answer. E will be equal to x plus y plus z. This will be equal to square root of 5 plus 2 square root 3. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.